All right, I'm really happy with my V-War light lathe here. Uh, use it for making the inlays for rings, boring it out, and then fitting the wood so that it'll fit onto the lathe inlay. But uh, I'd like to have a digital readout on it, and I haven't seen anybody that's done that here on this 7 by 12, this V-War. I've seen it for bigger lathes and different lathes, but uh, I want to go ahead and fit one to this lathe. So. Let's take a look. I've ordered one and I got it on the bench right here and uh, maybe we can put it on. I got this from Amazon and it came pretty packed, pretty well packed. It came in this uh, little foam case and this is a 12 inch uh, scale. So this will be along the, I guess that would be called the Z axis. Some people call that the X axis, but I'm not sure exactly. Uh, I think there's some sort of debate on which is the x-axis and which is the z-axis. But anyway, this is uh, kind of uh, got the the little scale with the reader on it that slides back and forth, and then a little reed head that uh, will mount on the lathe, and it'll be able to tell me. Uh, where my uh, my carriage is. So let's uh, put a, uh, a battery here and play with it. Well this came with the scale. This is a 12 inch scale with the reader and of course the reader goes back and forth on it and as it does it uh, displays on the little digital readout and you can zero it out, turn it on and off. This has built-in button batteries uh, there's two CR2032 button batteries in here, and there's a little mount plate that came with it, but this does have bat little magnets on it, so it should just clip onto or attach to something magnetic. There's a couple of little uh, brackets here for the scale and a little bracket for the reed head to attach the reed head to, uh, to my carriage or whatever you want to attach it to. And uh, got the uh, holes here. Of course, we're gonna probably have to drill and tap to to mount this. So let's go look at this at the lathe and see where we're gonna mount this thing at. I think the first thing we need to do is remove this plate here, this uh, guard. Now, through a stroke of good luck, after taking this uh, back piece off, I found that this hole and this hole right here that are pre-drilled and tapped into the lathe bed, uh, they fit this 12 inch, the brackets for this 12 inch uh, slides perfectly. So that is a stroke of good luck. So I'm just gonna use these holes. Now what I'm gonna to do too, is I'm gonna turn these little brackets around. So this guy will face out, probably like that. that and then I will make a little bracket to go to, from this uh, bolt here that holds this uh, bottom piece on here that holds on the uh, the carriage from that to here and then that's what will pull my uh, little gauge back and forth uh, the uh, meter so I think I can do this without any drilling in the lathe so let me go ahead and turn these little brackets around and then we'll mount this guy to the lathe. All right, I'm just going to loosen these little bolts here on this on these brackets at the end of the uh, the uh, DRO slider right here. Turn flip them around like that and then just reattach them. Same thing on this one too. Okay. 
Okay. And reattach him. All right, now let's just go, go put mount this to the to the lathe bed. Now, one thing I did notice is that mounting it this way, the uh, the little reader is thicker on this side, as you can see. See how it's kind of thicker on this side than this side. So I'm going to have to use a uh, probably a washer so that he won't be crammed against the lathe bed, so he'll be able to slide back and forth. So let's go ahead and put in a washer and mount this guy to the lay bed. So I mounted the uh, scale right here in those existing holes. I just had to put a uh, just to put a uh, uh, washer just to pull this guy out just a little bit so this guy could slide back and forth freely. But he is good. He's mounted straight and level. And uh, that was kind of a fortunate uh, stroke of luck. Now all I need to do is to make like a little bracket that goes between this screw. So I'm going to take this screw out and then have a little bracket that'll connect to these little screw holes here. So he'll pull this guy backwards back and forth and uh, whenever I move the carriage. So all I need to do now is maybe get a piece of a little piece of uh, sheet metal to uh, to attach that. I think I can use this uh, bracket that came with it. I just bend him straight, and then I can uh, maybe adjust him. So I, ooh, I drilled this little guy out, made him sort of an L shape ish. And uh, what we can do is put him in here, and then we put him in up and put this bolt back in the, the carriage, and that uh, piece that holds it to the to the lathe bed to the ways. Tighten him up. Just going to test it out. Do a test fitting here. And this guy slides right in like that. And what do you know? Those holes line up pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, tighten him down and then tighten him up to that, to the uh, little rear. All right, he's mounted now. He's got this little angle piece that comes down from the carriage that's hooked onto that bolt. He's uh, connected to the reader and he goes back and forth. The reader doesn't seem to be putting any, it's not binding or anything, so that's good. It looks like the reader is working. And if I zero him and going toward the, uh, the chuck, and then going back away from the chuck. And I've got full travel. So that was uh, pretty fortunate. That was basically a install of a DRO onto a lathe without having to drill or tap the lathe at all. And I'm not saying that can have work for you, but it seemed to work for me. The uh, other, I've got the the uh, DRO that go along here on the cross slide, and I don't think I'm going to be as fortunate on that. I think I'm going to have to actually drill and tap him. So this is going to be a different video. But this is working good. So uh, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm going to be able to play with it and uh, hopefully uh, make some more rings. Thanks, everybody.